Booker Tov, good morning. Today is Friday. It's Friday. Click that. April 8th, Erev Shabbat Hagadol. Erev Shabbat Hagadol. Uh, Erev Shabbat Parshat Mitzora. Shabbat Hagadol, if you've listened to a few of the Daily Dose of Torah, we've, uh, the last two days we talked a little bit about that, and I actually re- referenced back to one piece towards the end of these few brief remarks for today. Um, the Haftarah concludes by describing Eliyahu's uh, coming. And we, we studied the Mishnah, and that's, and that's what, again, I'll, I'll, I'll make a reference to it at the very, very end. The Pasuk says, all this happens Behold, I will send to you Elijah the prophet before the arrival of the of the day of God, which is awesome and uh, and you know full of dread. Actually, what it means. Um, and the job that he'll have, one of the, that which Eliyahu will do, is to bring the heart of um, of the parents on the children, and the children on the parents. What does that mean? What is the the essence of that message? Now, a good deal of the Haftarah is actually dealing with uh, terrible behavior and sinful behavior, and the punishment of people uh, in 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 the in the, in the sh- sharp. And a bright sun of uh, of of uh, the day of God's vengeance, um, and it's about again sinful behavior, and so many many of the Mepharshim understand that Eliyahu doing this is actually helping parents bring their children to to uh, to proper um, to turning away from their uh, idolatry and the other way around. Says Rashi, "Beheshiv lebavot lahakadosh baruch hu." That they will bring the hearts of the fathers back, return them back to God. Al banim, al yedei banim. It will happen through the children. Yomar lebanim derech ahava v'ratzon lechu v'dibru alavotechem leachos b'tarachem alkom. Eliyahu will come and tell children, say, you, you got to tell your parents they have to return to the ways of God. Innocent, I'm, I'm guessing the innocent young children. V'chein. The same will happen in the other direction that uh, older parents will say to, I guess, somewhat mature but sinful uh, children. Uh, Eliel will say, you have, to, you have to bring your children back to the, to the right way. Um, that's what I heard. <coughs> excuse me. That's what I heard in the name of Menachem Hadarshan. Um, and so that's a tremendous, uh, tremendous thing. And you think about how difficult it is for us to do this without Elio's help, it seems. How many, uh, I, I guess it's more unlikely that children are going to try to help bring their parents back to the faith. Um, but it's more likely in our generation that you'll have a situation where children might have strayed, strayed, walked away, um, decided it's not for them. And parents, uh, I think, have a hard time finding a voice to be able to tell their children um, what they want to tell them, uh, what they need to, what, you know, ha- inspire them. Um, they're not going to find those words. So the gift of Eliyahu is to help you find those words, to help you find those words, it would seem to me. Go tell your children, would not just be like, go do it, what you're waiting for, but I'm guessing... Um, he'll give you somehow the inspirational message that will make a difference. Just a reflection, right, on uh, on the challenge of, of parents who know that their children have not been inspired, um, because and often because the parents haven't found those inspiring words. And then Rashi concludes with the Mishnah which we uh, which we referenced yesterday. Um, and then it says um, you will find. <coughs> in the Masechet Ediyot, Lasum Shalom Ba'olam. The job of Eliyahu will be to bring peace to the world. And then it quotes this Pasuk in the Mishnah. If it quotes this Pasuk to say that it will bring peace to the world, then Heshiv Leiv Avot Al Banim, the Leiv Banim Al Avot isn't that, you're, that, that, that they will help bring uh, the children back to God or the parents back to God, but to help bring a, f- a fractured families back together. 
of Yahweh help with uh, with a deep rift that might that might uh, exist between uh, between a parent and a child, and whoever is driving it, or just simply um, the reality of of the rift that is there. And El Yahu sometimes you just need somebody else who's going to hold hold people, bring them back together when people have otherwise um, s uh, separated and gone to different to different corners and beyond. So that's that's the bracha we want to offer on this uh, Shabbat Hagadol, um, a week in advance of Pesach, that we be able to find inspiring words, and um, that uh, that and when we gather for seder's, hopefully multi generational seder's, um, Eliyahu who will show up will help uh, will help the voices of one be heard by the other, and not just the religious voices but the loving voices, the levavot and the levbanim. And we should be able to uh, indeed find those bonds strong once more. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and um, the inspiration of Eliyahu going forward. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>